Yeah. He said, you know what? That was my last chance. From that time, my heart is so hard that when I look, I see hell. And the soul of my mother frying in hell like a pancake. And I laugh. Branham says, God will not always be calling you. He will not always be calling you. You see that? That was the end. What, what am I saying? She crossed the master line. That voice. Now, she did not say you are the one calling. He said, she said this. Jesus was calling me. It was my last chance. You see that? Now the demon can let her know now that that was Jesus. But at that time, that demon said, this guy doesn't even know how to speak good English. He's not educated. Jesus was calling me. It was my last chance. That was a great visitation. And Jesus, eternal life was there for her to receive but walked away. Rebranam said, I couldn't help it. He left the place, tears in his, in his eyes, just to see how far man can go from God. See that? Oh, yes. May God help us. Let me just look for a place to end here. Let me conclude. In conclusion, God is calling every age, every time, even tonight, Amen. God is still calling you. Amen. He's telling you to depart from the evil ways and come to him. Amen. Paul says in Hebrews 3, 15, 19, he says the wow, it is said today. If you hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation. For some, when they had heard, did provoke how be it not all that came out of Egypt by Moses but with whom was he grieved 40 years was it not with them that had sinned whose carcasses fell in the wilderness and to whom swore he that they should not enter into his race but with them that believed not so we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Unbelief is refusing to take God at his word. When God speaks to you, but the devil shows you it's a man with no education. It's a man you don't regard. That's what the Pharisees did to Jesus. They brought him so down. I told you when I was talking about a Samaritan. So down until they were calling him a Samaritan. An impure race. I even told you this judge who came to Jesus. Because he's a judge. He's a lawyer. So he thought you know, he can go and maybe have Jesus mixed up. In his words so they can get a case. Went to him and said. Master what is the greatest law in the Bible? And Jesus, instead of answering, he kind of questioned the person. He asked him, how read this down? How do you read? You see that? So he had now to say the greatest law. You see that? Of loving God with all your heart, your strength, your everything, and your, your neighbor as yourself. You remember that? So now, Jesus told him, okay, brother, all you've said is good. Go and do the same. So the Bible says him wanting to justify himself did not go to do what Jesus said go do. But he came back. You know, he turned back and said, but who is my neighbor? He's still looking for something. And when Jesus answered, he answered in the form of a parable. He said there was another man. You know, the, there's the good Samaritan parable. I'm not, I don't want to go into detail. You know, coming from Jerusalem, the city of God going to Jericho. Then he met the robbers. They beat him so badly. Wounded him. You see that? Then the priest 
came, he had just finished his rituals in Jerusalem. So he, there was no reason why the priest shouldn't help the man. If he was going to do his rituals in Jerusalem, he could say, if I do that, I'll be unclean. But he's just done his work. So he's going home. So he could have helped the man. But the priest passed the other way as if I didn't see it. I didn't see him. If I saw him, I would have helped him. And then the Levite also came. And then when the Levite came, the Levite came a little closer to look at him. And then he also just walked away. You see that? But Jesus said the good Samaritan came and bandaged the man and put him on his ass and took him to an air. You know how the story goes? So after Jesus had said that, he asked the lawyer, okay now, tell me who among the three was a neighbor to the man. Read the text. The man couldn't even just say the Samaritan. You see that? He would rather die than say the Samaritan. Because those are some of the derogatory terms they were using on Jesus. You see that? Or one who, was, uh, who helped him. Just say the Samaritan. So what I'm trying to say is this. God is calling us Amen. from where we are right now. Amen. And he wants us to go to another level, not to stay in the same, same place you've been. We'll look at that on Sunday. Not to stay in the same, same place. But God is calling you. He wants you to go to another level, to another level where you can hear clearly from him and know that it's your father talking to him. You see that? Amen. But when you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Mm -hmm. Don't point fingers at Jesus and say to Samaritan, why hear ye him? He's lying to the people. The priest said, this man has lost his mind. Even when Jesus made the man see, the priest said, oh no, 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 no. Don't give the glory to, give the glory to God. Mm -hmm. You see that? But the Bible says the common man the common people had him gladly. People really who do not have that much stuff, you know, homes, but they had him gladly. Amen. You see that? So sometimes we can do that. And when we do that, we fail to hear God speaking to us. Because we are so busy criticizing the vessels God is using that we don't see what God is doing. May God help us. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, God, that may you open my eyes, O oh God. Open the eyes of my sister, my brother, that we may see you. For Lord Jesus Christ, we are living in a day when things that are unworthy are being praised as if they have value in them. But Lord Jesus, as we've seen, Father, the children of Israel, the Hebrews, oh God, that were supposed to know him when he came to his own, they still failed to know that he was the one. So Lord Jesus, everything you ever said, they couldn't accept it. No wonder the Bible says, had they known that it was you, the Lord of glory, they would never have crucified you, Lord. Father, Lord Jesus, the same thing is being repeated before our eyes, where you are speaking to us. But the majority of us have not really figured out and known that it was you speaking to us. Father, help me, help my brother, my sister, that we should not be part of the crowd that will say on that day, but when did we see you hungry and we gave, when did we see you hungry and we didn't give you anything? When did we see you in prison and we didn't visit you? But Lord, may we see you in each one of us, oh God. 
When I look at my brother, I want to see you. When I look at my sister, I want to see you and my sister. And Lord, my concern is not the failures, oh God. It's not the human weaknesses, Father. But my concern is to see what my sister, my brother, they're trying to do for you, oh God. Lord Jesus, may you help us. Guide us, oh God. Not to exhaust any chance that you give us, oh Father. For tomorrow may be too late. It is now. Help my sister, help my brother. Just to live before you. Receiving you, oh God, and every moment of our life. Trying to find out the best way we can do to serve you, God. Help us, Father. Bless us, oh God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 May God bless you. Uh, I would like to believe that with those few things, God will uh, amplify them and just uh, expand them to you so you can uh, see more than what I was just trying to say here. May God bless you so much and keep you. Thank you so much for giving me a few minutes to uh, conclude on that. Not May God bless you. Remember to pray for one another. Remember to pray for one another. Remember to pray for me too that God may help each one of us because I feel with, from the bottom of my heart that we are just almost going home. May God bless you. Amen. You are dismissed in the name of Jesus Christ as we sing this little chorus. Keep me true. Keep me true, Lord Jesus. Keep me true, Lord Jesus, keep me true. Keep me true, Lord Jesus, keep me true. There is a race that I must run, there are victories to be won. Give me power every hour to be true. As we go out, keep me true. Lord Jesus, keep me true. Keep me true. Lord Jesus, keep me true. There is a race that I must run. There are victories to be won. Give me power every hour to be true.